Dr. Ambedkar was invited to the Round Table Conference in London in September 1930 as a representative of the depressed classes. The objective of the conference held at the historic St. James Palace was to frame a constitution for India by taking into account the views of various sections of people. But Ambedkar's willingness to represent his people at the conference aggravated the resentment of the Indian National Congress which had boycotted the Simon Commission and also the conference. All those who associated with the conference were roundly condemned and accused as lackeys of the British by the congressman. From then, Dr. Ambedkar, in the eyes of the Congress, carried the foul stigma of being a stooge of the British. And yet, at the conference, his fierce and uncompromising championship of the Indian national interests caused surprise at home and consternation in ruling quarters. Dr. Ambedkar pleaded at the conference that the bureaucratic form of government in India should be replaced by a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. And yet, he insisted, in such a setup, power should not go unchallenged into the hands of the tyrannical majority. The depressed classes must have their just share. They must have adequate safeguards. On this, there could be no compromise. In all the three rounds of the Roundtable Conference, in the plenary sessions, in committee and in subcommittee meetings, Dr. Ambedkar used all his erudition and skill to champion two causes, India's freedom and safety and the protection of the depressed in a free and democratic India. While in London for the Roundtable Conference, Dr. Ambedkar stayed at different places but maintained steady communication with his movement and followers through a flood of letters. His performance at the Roundtable Conference made a deep impact on the intellectual and the political circles in England. Nobody could now ignore Ambedkar. Ambedkar's relentless espousal of the cause of the untouchables did have some effect. <laughs> 